Hey. So I'm a firm believer in being very fast at target identification, target acquisition, and then fast sight alignment and mounting the gun and getting rounds on target. And there's a few reasons for that. The first is the time it takes you to mount your gun and engage a threat could literally mean the difference between that threat shooting a few people or being able to shoot you. And I'd like to give a couple examples. The first being if you're going in and confronting an active shooter, say you're going into like a school, or you're going into Walmart or a, a, a mall or something, or maybe even an airport if you're a law enforcement officer who's responding, as soon as you have identified identified the threat, the time it takes you to mount your, your weapon, whether it's a handgun or a rifle, and start engaging that threat could mean the difference between him shooting one person, two people, three people. The longer you take to engage him could mean the difference between those people all getting shot or him turning around and starting to shoot at you. Two, six, nine. This is a drill that I work on to work on that target identification, work on that side alignment, and work on that target acquisition, and I'll be shooting a rifle and showing you guys what I do. So, let's do it. So I call this the aimbot drill, and that's an inside joke to many of you. But essentially what I'm doing is have five USPSA targets, each numbered with two numbers, one through 10, randomly numbered. And what we're gonna do is my cameraman Charles is gonna call out a number or a sequence of Eight. numbers. And I have to come from a low ready or a high ready and engage that number accordingly. So if he calls out one, I'm going to shoot one round to the torso. I may decide to shoot two, three, four, five rounds, whatever it needs to be. If he calls five, I have to shoot for the head. And at this range, I've got to take height over bore into account and put my red dot above the target itself to actually get a shot in the T-zone hitbox. I have the targets where I'm very close to the targets. This is more about driving the gun to target versus just bringing the gun up. If I was further away, this drill would be way easier because I don't have to pivot very much to engage the targets. As close as they are here, I've got to go from here all the way to here. And if I want, I can even move the targets further out and I have an even harsher angle to engage a target. So if you have a range that allows you to do that, definitely move your targets around so you can shoot 180 degrees, 280 degrees if you have a range where you can do that because that is super, super important. So right now I've got it pretty basic. Five. I'm about seven yards from the target, so it's more about speed than accuracy. Obviously for the headshots, I've got to be pretty accurate to keep those in the, in the hitbox, but this is more about getting that gun on target, finding that red dot, and shooting the target. So let's do it. Ten. Four. Nine, one. One, five, three. Something that's super important about shooting a drill like this is exercising proper follow through. Now, what is that? That's finding a second sight picture and getting reset on your trigger so you can fire more rounds and you're not pinning the trigger to the rear. So that you don't want to do something like this and bring the gun back down. Just because you finish the drill doesn't mean you need to pull the gun back down immediately. You need to find that second side picture. You need to get off the, the, the you need to unpin the trigger and you need to be on reset so you can fire again if you need to. So it looks something like this. I found my second side picture. I got my finger off the trigger, but it was on the wall so I could fire again if I needed to. And that's proper follow through. Now I'm not X doing a complete follow through, which would be getting off the X, Search and assessing for more threats, dialing 911, getting emergency services here. I'm just focusing on weapon follow through for this particular drill. I may scan all the targets that I have here. I'm not doing a full on realistic scenario defensive, moving off the X, calling 911, and things like that. But I'm trying to exercise proper weapon follow through because that's going to build good habits. 231. 2. Seven. Nine one. Three. So there's a few techniques out there for mounting a rifle, getting that cheek weld and getting that sight picture. And this is the one that I found that's worked best for me. So there's some people that say you need to have your head down and bring the gun and the optic to your eyes. Well, I don't really like that method very much because that requires keeping my head down and all my muscles in my neck strained while I'm just moving around looking for stuff to do. And I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer keeping my head upright and more natural. And as I bring my carbine up, I drop my head down at the same time. Emphasis on at the same time. 
I see a lot of newer shooters, they'll bring the rifle up and then drop your head down. And that's gonna be slow and inefficient. What you wanna do is do both at the same time. Gun comes up, head comes down. Gun comes up, head comes down. Just like that. And that's what I'm doing here to get my rounds on target quickly. That's what I found to work the most efficiently for me. You can try some of the other methods to see what works best for you. But I like moving head and gun at the same time and keeping my head upright in a more natural position. Eight. Two. Nine, ten, six. Two, one, three. Eight. One, three. Nine, six, three. Nine, one, four. Six, ten. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. There's obviously a lot of different drills out there that you can do to work on that target acquisition, work on that side alignment, but this is just one of the many drills that I do that I found to help with that speed and looking for the target and processing that information and bringing the gun up and going from that off switch to that on switch and trying to do it as fast as possible. So give this a shot if you can. Do some of the other ones and know guys who will do uh, colored objects, shapes, uh, they'll do different faces on targets. They'll show you a face you have to shoot and you actually have to find a face on the target. And there's a lot of different ways of being able to simulate that target identification. But this is one way that I do. It's very abstract, it's very simple, and it's very easy for anybody to do. So give it a shot. I hope that was helpful. Train hard, stay safe.